For over a month after his arrest, his family had no idea of his whereabouts. Finally, they received a letter. He had been taken to Guantanamo Bay. Everything about these detentions is designed to render these human beings into this state of total dependence on the United States military. They're held in solitary, they're manacled when pulled out for interrogation, they're interrogated at great length, they can't reach out to anybody, they can't call a lawyer, they can't call their families. These people are entirely at the mercy of the military with no end in sight to their detention, and not surprisingly, there have been suicide attempts. At last count, more than 30 of the Guantanamo Bay detainees had tried to kill themselves. We don't hear about that anymore because the government no longer reports suicide attempts. Begg's family had no understanding of the graveness of his circumstances. The few letters they did get from him avoided details altogether. In fact, he was trying to avoid everything because I had bypass operation and I was not well enough. So he was not writing anything clear to me. After a year, I wrote to him that I am very well. There is nothing wrong with me. Then, in response to that letter, he wrote me a letter saying that I'm pleased that you're well. Pleased to know that you can do all the activities, but my position is different. I haven't seen moon, sun, or natural light for the last one year, except two minutes. I've been kept like a, like an animal in a cage, they don't give me food. They don't give me water. My clothes are too. Where are my human rights? There is no one to help me. That's why I'm writing you. So please help me if you can. That letter actually tore me apart. <clears throat> I didn't know what to do. Instead of I got in touch with foreign office, they said we don't have any access. Americans won't allow us to go there, so we do not know anything about him. If you hear, we'll let you know. They never ever did anything. What Begg's father is asking for his son is specifically guaranteed in tenets of international law. He wants an impartial trial. If he is guilty, he should be punished. If he's not guilty, why should be there? 